Yes! I'm at Armadillo stage! Again! You just saw it, and now you get to see it again. Welcome back, everybody! I am that one voice in your head. Again, I apologize for another week of nothingness. But this time, this should be all good. All good in the hood. Anyway, so what I'm showing you here is a very easy way to grind. Um, if you kill all these bats, they have high drop rates of health. And um, at first I was using my X Buster, but now I'm showing you a way to do it even easier. Just turn on the... just charge up the shield attack, and then keep doing that. And just run into every enemy, they'll give you everything. And now, out, right there, I was kind of showing you exactly what that guy gives. He gives you... well, he doesn't always give you, but... This this specific bat that turns into a bubble has a high drop rate of dropping extra lives. So if you need extra lives, come here, kill that guy, and he will drop, give you extra lives a lot. Anyway, and the codes are useless now, just so you know. Um, no matter. Oh, and I was going back in because I completely forgot that there's something else we need to do in Armored Armadillo besides that, so... Right now, I'm showing you riding this go-kart. I'm not sure if I've actually shown this before. I felt like I didn't, so I decided to. Anyway, so here's this. Killing all these things. I don't know why I'm showing... Oh, wait! I do know why I showed that very specific part. Because I transitioned it with the music. Yeah. Anyway, right here, I'm doing something a little bit special. Something that people don't normally do, and I decided to do it. I'm showing the minecart section without the minecart, yes! I'm doing something super special that you've never seen in your lives! I, don't, I just decided to do this, it's just something a little extra, something fun, something you don't really see normally, and just a slowdown, and it's just all good in the hood, sucker! Uh, and I'll show you here that you can kill this guy very easily. I don't do it very easily this time, but I do eventually do it very easily, and I show that off as well, but... Um, I'm actually not showing anything, but I show you there that you can't get up there without it, and I show him blow up. And I don't know what I was trying to say. Well, I do know what I was trying to say, because I misinterpreted the part of the video that we are at. So I go on here, and then I go here. Another minecart section, and I'd show there by accident that the minecart does indeed respawn, so no need to worry if you accidentally fall off. And that bat just decided to stay inside of me, so I couldn't shoot him very easily. And yeah. So here is the minecart section. Something that I didn't know is that if you're not on the minecart, um, the birds that fly around with you, they don't appear. They just kind of just don't spawn. I guess something with about the minecart makes them spawn. And then I decided to take out the missiles because it's all hunky-dory in the hood. They're annoying. And then I come to here and realize that without the minecart I can't do squat. But it doesn't matter. You're going to see me die there a lot in this video. And you will see exactly why in just a few seconds. Um... So, I jump here, I kind of screw up the thing, but you can get up there anyway, without that. So I'm trying to do that right here and right now. And then I get up here and get this life! Yay, I jump and jump for joy! And then I change weapons for no reason at all, and then... I jump off to my doom! Yes. And then... I accidentally jump into the door when I'm doing it again, yes. I'm doing it again intentionally, I can't go back, I accidentally fell into the door, and I'm standing there like, really? Really? So then I decide to go through the exit the awesome way, and leave. And then I'm back! And then I get that life again, and then I just die. And then I get the life again, and then I die. Now there are, now, um, it is said that you have to have full health in order for something special to happen right there, and this is where I actually kill it, like with super speed, with the, just the X buster, with nothing special, I just kind of boom boom boom, and then there we go. 
So you don't actually need anything in order to get this. You don't need special weapons. You just need to use a dash trick. Anyway, so I'm here again, getting the life. So I think, I'm pretty sure you need full health in order to get the thing that I'm trying to get. And here I'm showing you that the minecart kills me. Very specially. But it doesn't matter because I probably wouldn't have been up there anyway. But another rumor, and this, this one I'm positive is a rumor, is that you have to have full energy tanks and full weapons. Um, I'm not sure about the full weapons. Uh, my weapons are full and I wasn't taking the chance that it might be a rumor. But I do know that what is a rumor is that um, your energy tanks have to be full. Your energy tanks don't have to be full in order to get what you're getting, in order to get what I'm getting. Just, I think your health. I'm pretty sure your health. I know in a different Mega Man X game, the thing that I'm getting that is similar in those games, you have to have full health in order to get it. But anyway, this is what I'm getting. I gave you a special present. Now enter the capsule, please. So he's in um, Street Fighter gear, yes! Why is that important? It probably isn't. If you heard something in the background, ignore it. And then boom, we get something in our hands and Hadouken! 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 Yes, the Hadouken from Street Fighter. He is he was in reuse clothes or something like that. I ended up with four lives. I got some extra lives here and there from those guys, I think, maybe, I don't know. Anyway, I decided to leave the epic way. Hadouken! Hadouken is something super special. Something super um, special to the game. It is Mega Man X's ultimate weapon. Um, most Mega Man X games have an ultimate weapon. Um, ultimate attack. And this is the level, Sigma's level. And real quick, let's split up. I'll go in first. And then you can slip in while I keep the main defense force busy. Dash away! So yes, almost every Mega Man X game has a super special weapon that will kill anything, and I mean anything, um, for the most part, <laughs> in one hit. The Hadouken will kill every single little enemy that you see in one hit. The Hadouken will also kill all uh, Mavericks with one hit. So say you fought one of the previous bosses, cause, uh, spoiler alert, you will be fighting the bosses again. If you Hadouken them, they will die instantly. That is no matter what, every single boss, every single enemy will die with one hit to the Hadouken. Except for the final, 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 final boss. And anyway, so I, this is Sigma Stage 1. Um, something that you currently can't see, or maybe just I can't see, is that Mega Man X has a shield around him. This shield will protect me from that guy, but it won't protect me from falling, because I suck. And I cut here. Um, as, you, as you were able to see earlier, I had four lives. At this point, I have zero. If I die, I get a game over. And here... Um, I noticed this while I was editing, and it's very strange here as well, but I can see the tornado move. I can see tornadoes, and I hope, I hope, hope, hope that you guys can see them too, because I haven't really shown it as a, an attack, because, yeah. Anyway, the tornado move kills those things super easily, and now all I can see is the shield. Mega Man X is within the shield. I, I seriously don't understand recording uh, decisions what's visible what's not when it comes to blinking anyway so this is how I get up here those purple things they love to just run into me and push me off of this stage so I decided to take the cheap way every single time and there's a cheaper way that you could do that I decided not to do I did know about it you can climb that wall see I have zero lives as you can see you can climb that wall you have to do some trick to go back and forth up it in order to get up it very easily um, it's kind of hard to do, but I have done it. I just didn't decide to show it because I wanted to show the um, quote-unquote legend away. So Sting, Chameleon Sting is a very useful weapon in my opinion. It's one of my favorites um, throughout this Let's Play. It's just been something that it hits a lot. And because it hits three times, it's like three times the damage with each hit. 
And, uh, well, real quick. Vile! You'll die! Die! Stay back, X. I'll take him on. Oh, crap. Better run! Get back here! Anyway, I decided to show that there's literally nothing up there. So, yeah. Uh-oh. And I was standing there unintentionally. I mean, against my will. It wouldn't let me move. And here, I thought I couldn't move. I thought it was doing that on purpose. I think I walked forward. Uh, anyway, X, do what I tell you or he's history. Don't listen to him, X. Go ahead and blast him. Dream on, Zero. X knows you can't defeat me. My armor barrier is more than a match for his ancient weapons. So, yeah. Vile again. And here, I decide to just beat him. Or, I decide to just fight him again. Um, I guess I will explain my singing right there. Um, <laughs> um, in each video, oh, well, real quick, more plot. Boom! Maybe, but I'm not through yet! Maybe what? Bum bum bum! What a worthless gesture! I can't be defeated so easily! So, X, it's just you and me now. Oh, yeah! I kill you! What the? Where did that energy come from? It really doesn't matter now with energy. How much energy you absorb, X? You are still far too prepared to be. When I was editing this, I thought it, that said fat. You are, you are fat. Too weak. Anyway, so this is vile. You get to fight vile. Anyway, so I was trying to explain my singing. I sing the word, the music sometimes. Um. I sing it like perfectly in time while I'm recording and I do this um, I try to do this every single episode um, at least once like at the end of the boss fights because those places are fun to sing and other places are fun to sing but I'm busy doing commentary so I don't so yeah um, this video doesn't have that victory music I don't think which is why I decided to sing right there I'm um, actually meant to do it earlier but it, uh, it slipped my mind and I did it later but regardless, I sing to sync up my audio. My audio, because er, I can't, oh, this is funny. He just runs into the penguin and then kills himself. That is just awesome. So I do it to sync up my video so I can just, so I won't have to worry about anything. And anyway, this is interesting. I tried to be red for the cutscene, but he just turns blue after shooting. X, I've taken too much damage. Auto repair systems can't handle the, Attack self destruct. My power is fading fast. Your power is greater than I thought. <sighs> Maybe you can destroy Sigma. And then he turns into a skeleton and dies. Even though he's a robot. <laughs> I don't think I can do it. I don't think I can take on Sigma. I can't do this. But, Zero. I'll do it for you, Zero. I'll do it. Do it. I'll do it! Don't worry! I'll avenge you! Wait, I did avenge you. Kinda. You killed yourself though, so it's kinda bleh. Anyway, syncing audio, words, things that I was saying. I use it to sync up my audio, so... Uh, because sometimes my audio's off by a little teeny tiny little bit by how I watch the video and record. It is kind of hard to start it at the exact same time so um, I give myself time I give uh, I mean I later in the video I uh, sing part of the songs and then 
use it to sync up the audio throughout the entire thing. And this part's always been annoying in my opinion, how to get up this corridor. Normally I like to kill all the enemies, but these guys are just a bother. That I decided to not... I'm just taking the damage like a champ, man. Ah, uh, I'm weak. Ow! Oh, what the heck? Anyway. So, um, a little fun fact. If you defeat, uh, Vile and you didn't get the upgrade for your arm cannon, the upgrade that lets you charge anything, anything and everything, and then get the purple beam of death while I'm with the regular X-Buster, then Zero will give you his arm cannon, which gives you the exact same ability. So it's nothing different than the arm cannon that you get through Dr. Light. Anyway, so this is Boomer Kowenga. I for some reason thought I was gonna fight Chill Penguin. But it's Boomer Kowenga first. And like I said, I will be defeating him with his weakness. Boom! Kaboom! Kaboom! Boom, 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 let's charge up, shoot your face! Sucker! Kill you with homing torpedo, kill you, beat you in the face! Lose my charge because you hit me in the face! Sucker! I'm bad at clear the improv singing. But I kill him! Yeah, buddy! I like improv. So, you defeat him, then you go on. And then there's these guys. These guys are annoying. Especially when you don't realize you're running super short on energy. So watch this. Shoot, 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 shoot. Oh, I'm not shooting because there's nothing in my cannon. So I just switch to Xbox. Boom, 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 boom. And then they respawn because I go a little bit too far off screen. And then these guys all hit me. I get, I, I, I'm doing so, I do so terribly right here. Like I literally lose, I don't know how much I literally lose, but I lose a lot. A lot more health than I ever should to just enemies. Especially these enemies. These are like Metools. Metools are in every single Mega Man game. They're the Goombas of the Mega Man game. They shouldn't be dealing as much damage as they did, but luckily I was able to heal up a lot. And anyway, so this guy, Vile's weakness is Ice! Ice Shotgun. And so is the main boss. So something jerkish they do. Um, and anyway, this is the bane of all of your existences. It's a spider! And... I've, I'd never see him do that throughout the rest of the battle, where he's midway through it, and then decides to shoot. But, shoot, shoot an egg. But he did it there. Anyway, I'm trying not to waste my ice on those guys. But I'm still trying to use the ice to get as much damage as I can. And, yeah. So I run out of ice here without him doing a single bit of damage with it on him himself. But yeah. So the rest will be with the X Buster. Alright, everybody. I am so sorry about whatever is happening here. I got interrupted for quite a long time. So this commentary is actually um, at a completely different time than the previous post commentary. So the maybe a little weird thing to point out and it's very unfortunate that I have them at the uh, near end of the video only two minutes left and now my voice is in a little bit of whispery mode but um, not sure if I mentioned it I didn't go over my past commentary that I made but in the annotations I'm going to show you exactly the path that this spider is going to take at least a couple times because this guy's path is predetermined by those uh, green webs he will automatic he will no matter what or it will no matter what go down um, it'll go across the path that it touches it'll, tu it'll go on the p green path that it touches there's no way that it won't so you can no matter what tell where he's going to be if you're if you have a quick reacting mind if like that one you just go straight down but sometimes it's easy sometimes it's not so yeah, and I was just about to die, and oh, I think I rewound a little more than I thought. So that might be a little unfortunate, my commentary might be a little bit off, 
So I'm just gonna be talking here. Anyway, um, maybe I'll cut that very specific part out. And this part too. I don't know. Maybe I won't cut any of it. And you guys are just hearing me blabber. Regardless, this is. I don't remember this boss's name. Goma. And anyway, kaboom, boom, 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 boom. Yay. And is it victory music? Oh, there is. For some reason, I thought there wasn't. There's no weapon get screen because that's it. Anyway, that'll be it for this video. Hopefully, I didn't make it drag on too much longer. Hopefully, you're not just staring at a picture for a long time. And I hope you enjoy this video. I apologize for the strange interruption and all that. But what can you do when they come for you, bad boys, bad boys? That was that was a very strange ending. Anyway, thank you. Good night. Good morning. Goodbye.